All right, what's up everybody? So uh, thank you for your patience. Sorry, this is the third time attempting to make this video to try and make it shorter. Uh, these are the top 10 bags of 2024 after a lot of time and a lot of patience by you guys. I've thrown over like 40 sets of bags that are new to this year. Some of these bags may have been uh, from the past as well, but these would feature uh, either new material combos, new fill type or whatever it may be that would qualify it for this list. So this is new stuff for the year 2024. Uh, the top 10 is going to be based not just necessarily on the ones that I feel are the best, but also different varieties of bags for different types of throwers because I know not all of us throw the same. Let's jump right in. Number 10, the Lucky Clover. This would easily be top three or four for sure. However, I don't want to tell you to go buy this bag based on this recommendation, knowing that you can't get this material combo anymore. Lucky has since switched the slow side material to the reverse of it, and I haven't had a chance to play that yet. So my review, my ranking in putting these in the top four would be telling you to go buy a bag that you can't get anymore unless you buy a earlier version of the Clover. So that being said, love this bag, super forgiving, maybe the most forgiving cornhole bag I've ever thrown. This version, the initial release version, plays about a six and a half, nine. Initially, these things were like a nine, nine, super fast, but after long uh, amounts of throwing and breaking in processes, they eventually came into their own, now playing very well, very forgiving at about a six and a half, nine. Clover, Lucky, awesome bags. Uh, let's go to number eight. Number eight? Number eight. Number nine, the Winter Tide by Sub-Zero. I'm going to cheat a little bit here and say it's a tie with the sauce. The reason why, they both feature the Viper Pro Sniper Fast Side and both feature a variant carpet. Uh, these are different materials, but they play very similar, about a six, six and a half maybe. Um, on the slow side and the nine on the fast side, the difference between the two is that uh, Buffalo uses a flat disc, uh, Sub-Zero uses a mixed fill. That usually for me, I like the mixed fill a little bit more hole friendly. Uh, that's why I chose the Winter Tide over the sauce, but I like them both. Uh, I will say that this um, variant carpet does seem to stretch out a little bit, makes the bags feel kind of floppy on all these, the uh, Costello X, same sort of way. Nice bags, if you like Viper R's and stuff similar that plays like that, you're gonna love this bag. So Eddie, good job with those, man, for Sub-Zero. All right, now number eight. Number eight for me is the 710 Corruption. Now, this one comes with an asterisk. I just got these in last week, so I haven't had a lot of time to throw them. I wish I would have got them earlier. Uh, Roy, I know you've been busy, buddy, so uh, understand. But I've been really excited about throwing 710 bags now that they got the stamp. This is a smaller template. It is a fuller bag. Uh, has a carpet that is similar to maybe the Viper R, but not the same. Uh, this bag has played really well for me. I really like it. The only problem is I've only got to throw it in windy, colder conditions where the boards are kind of fast. So I can't tell you what it's really going to do in humidity. Be patient. Wait for my individual review of these. Certainly will, uh, worthy of a top 10 spot. Enjoy throwing these in the week that I have thrown them. Just uh, based on not a lot of time and experience, I can't really, in all fairness, give it any higher than an 8. May end up being one of my go-to bags, so hang tight for that one. Number 7. Uh, gonna go back to sub zero here. Let's go with the Avalanche. Uh, you got your Viking slow side, so about a four, four and a half paired with the Viper Pro, Sni uh, Pro Sniper fast side, the nine. Uh, why I really like this bag, uh, this is what I call a boardwalker variant, so you can flop, roll, whatever. But I played in a, a blind draw a couple weeks ago outside. The boards were lightning fast. Uh, normally I want to say at about a five and a half, nine. Uh, but everything was just flying off the board that day for everybody. These bags were the only thing I had with me that uh, held the board. Played great. I love these bags. Uh, these feel so good. A lot of credit to Eddie also. He, um, he did his break-in method on all the bags he sent me, and whatever he does is just awesome. So, Eddie, if you want to chime in with your break-in method in the comments, feel free to do that because these feel great. Awesome bag. Definitely worthy of the top ten. And it took my uh, number seven spot. Number six, let's go to NOLA. This is the most asked about bag I've probably been asked about for this year because of the slow side carpet. It looks so cool. What's it like? Well, I'll tell you it's thick. It does take some time to really break in. Probably plays about a six, five and a half, six. A really great speed paired with a really thin material that plays probably seven and a half, eight. So you're looking at like a six, eight bag here. Great speed range. Uh, flop, roll, in, 
you know, block, push, whatever you want to do with this bag, totally capable. Smaller template, feels really good in hand. I will tell you that uh, Billy sent me straight here because I called the Moccasin, which has the same fill type. All Nola's bags this year have switched to a mix. It feels like all round beads, it really does. But the discs that uh, Billy and the Nola team they use is um, sort of a rounded disc. It's not a flat disc. So it does, uh, it's pretty active on the boards. Uh, I do wish it maybe had the flat disc, but these still play great either way. Super hole friendly, but they are active. This bag reminds me a lot of the Gator. Uh, a thicker, slow side. Uh, the Gator's a touch slower, but paired with a, a thinner material uh, on the fast side. This doesn't feature the same material fast side as the Gator. It, it is different. This is uh, very similar to what we'll talk about in the Frenzy here, but it's a really good bag. Feels nice. You can do anything with it. Again, 6'8", flop roll, great bag. This is one I'm definitely going to throw more. I will tell you the fast side material does seem to like pick maybe and run a little bit. It's not the most um, durable for pulls or whatnot bags that I've seen, but it plays great. Cool bag, definitely. Uh, Nola always coming out with some new materials that everyone has the opportunity to use, and I appreciate that. All right, number five, we're getting to the top five here. I'm going to stay with Nola. And then the moccasin. For those of you who love to throw wizards, arguably the most popular bag on the planet right now, and for good reason, because you can do anything with it. You can flop shot, roll, push, run the board, block, whatever you want to do. This bag is capable of doing that. This is the old school wizard at a much cheaper price point. I mean, these brand new, I think are like 80 bucks. I can't remember what I put in the individual review. But man, sure, surefire fast side, wizard slow side. So this is a wizard made by Nola with... Uh, Again, that mixed fill that feels kind of like round bead, but these broke in so easy. I mean, other than the Ruguru 2.0, the Mud Bug, uh, the Snapper, um, the Gator, uh, those are a little bit thicker materials. It took a little bit of time to break in, but the Moccasin, I mean, it's like one treatment. These are ready to roll. These feel so good. They play so nice. I call it a little bit of a tie between the Moccasin and the Rex because uh, I did a bag tournament where I threw all of them against each other. Rex actually was my winner. Uh, for me, it was a little bit thinner than the moccasin, but Billy assures me that that's not the case. Most of them are always going to be the same. So uh, I like the Rex a little bit better. Billy's going to be mad at me here because uh, same fast side, plays about an eight, eight and a half. Uh, slow side material. For me, he says this one's a lot faster. I think he calls it a seven. Played like a six and a half-ish for me, where the Wizard's still playing about a six, maybe five and a half. It might be a little faster on the Rex. I like the Rex a little bit better than I like the Moccasin, just for my style. Is not, I'm, gonna, I'm not trying to throw a lot of flops and rolls unless I have to, so I prefer a bag that's not necessarily as active, so I like the Rex a little better, but very similar bags. Both totally awesome. Prices are amazing. Check out NOLA. If you're late getting on that train, you're going to love it. Definitely worthy of my top five, the Moccasin and the Rex. All right, top four here. Buffalo Frenzy. When I first got this bag, I hated it. Hated, hated, hated it. This was the worst hand-feeling bag I had ever had in my hands <coughs> when I got them at Worlds. Um, then I broke them in a couple times, and uh, then now they just feel great. Felt like a, I was holding a thin bag of, like, rock candy or something. So, slow side, it's that Combat OG2 material. It's like a three. Paired with another really thin material, like I said, it's like the Snapper. Uh, plays maybe seven and a half, eight. But this bag is the most roll-friendly bag I have ever thrown. Uh, Boardwalkers is also a really good one, but I, I'm going to give this the edge. Uh, the other day, I was playing in a blind draw, and I threw four roll bags in a row with this. My partner was just having a good old time saying, roll bag, roll bag, just because as I'm learning to utilize the roll more in, in my game, uh, if I want to play a defensive-style game and then just roll bags, or throw a lot of blockers, this bag gives me the opportunity to do it. As I get better as a player, I'm going to utilize this bag so much more. Now, that goes against all logical reasoning that a flat disc bag is the best rolling bag that I've ever had, but hey, it is what it is. I'm telling you, I roll this bag with ease versus some bags that are uh, all round bead fill. So can't explain it, but it does it. Frenzy, Buffalo, you know they make a great bag. All right, top three. Let's stay with Buffalo. Shadow. 
Uh, I'll be honest, I did like the initial Worlds version a little bit better. It was a little bit fuller. It felt better in the hand. Stupid hole friendly. These are still stupid hole friendly. It's just because of the sorcerer material and it's not the most durable, the initial set did not have a liner and within a week, the seams all busted out. So Buffalo, great customer service, uh, sent me a new set of bags. Uh, these are just a little thinner, uh, a little lighter. They have that liner and they just don't feel as good, but they're still stupid old friendly. Everyone that I've let throw them loves them. Features this, what I call the um, Brotherhood carpet because it's on the Guardian. They were the first ones that I was aware of that utilizes it, uh, but it's paired up with the Sorcerer Fast Side. Again, not the most durable. It shows wear and tear a little bit faster than other materials. I really wish someone would make this bag uh, uh, the slow side paired up with the Viper Pro Sniper Fast Side. They'd really be on to a hit. But uh, for now, the Shadow, great bag. Stupid old friendly. Plays about a five and a half right where I want to be on the slow side. Paired up with a nine, nine and a half. So really whole friendly bag that if you haven't thrown it yet, you've got to try it. All right, we're going to get into the top two. And this for me was really difficult because I love both of these bags. Either one of these could be my go-to bag on any day. I actually threw them head to head against each other to see which one will make my number one spot. So with that said, number two, Ninja, you guys know I'm a Ninja guy. I love what you guys do. Um, so Kyle, Chase, uh, man, you guys make some great stuff. Uh, no exception here. The Street is what I threw at Worlds last year, the 2023 version with Surefire. Fast Side paired with that Herringbone uh, carpet that played about a five and a half, six. This time the Herringbone matches what's on the wizard paired up with that viper pro sniper fast side what you have here is the buffalo fallout x but it has a mixed fill huge upgrade if you like the fallout x and you want a little bit more activity this bag can flop it can roll it can do anything so imagine a wizard paired with the viper pro sniper fast side that's what you get here this bag is a hit this is going to sell a ton if you've not thrown ninja bags you were totally missing out but you got to throw this bag. I love this bag. Any day, this could be my go-to bag. Number two on my list right now, but could very easily be number one. These two flip-flop. So who takes the one spot? Eddie, you got it. Tempest Sub-Zero Bags. Love this bag. This should be no surprise to you guys because you guys know how much I love Pro Sniper and Pro Sniper Variants. Probably my favorite bag of all time is the Ninja Smoke OG. Be on the lookout for the 2.0 for this year for, by Ninja, the Smoke 2.0. But what you have here is Pro Sniper Materials. This is actually a Pro Sniper. It has the flat discs uh, and everything in it too. I know you guys are probably surprised that I was saying a flat disc, bas flat disc bag is my number one spot. But man, these are so forgiving. So, so forgiving. Nice round corners, still well within ACL specs. Uh, I checked them. The designs are awesome, uh, but I love this bag. Super, super hole friendly. One thing that I love about this, and, and this is going to sound crazy, but just a, a thing for me mentally that I love and a note for you uh, bag manufacturers out there. One thing I like about this particular bag so much is the graphic on the back. As I look to work on my mechanics and get more revolutions on a bag to try and get a flatter release, uh, as those of you who throw with me know, is something I really need to work on. But as I'm working on that as a player, this graphic with the SZB, when I release it, I can see those letters spin. So uh, it's almost like a trainer bag in a strange way. So when I throw it with that circle, I can see the letters turning with the revolutions as I look to release. Uh, now, uh, I want to get to where obviously I can't see the letters a whole lot, but Great idea for those of you that, that make bags that uh, can't do it with a carpet slow side, but for non-carpet bags, to maybe put a graphic up there that you can see the revolutions. I think that's been wonderful for me and, uh, as I look to grow and develop as a player. So Tempest uh, by Sub-Zero Eddie, wonderful bag. I do want to quickly close with a shout out to both of these because they just missed. Both of them did great. The only reason The Witcher didn't make it is because I've seen this bag before in the 2023 Ninja lineup, their smoke, uh, the newer version in the 2023 features the same materials. About a five and a half on the slow, fast side is the nine, nine and a half. Um, great bag. A BG for me sets a standard. They're the company to be, not Ultra. Sorry for you faithful Ultra throwers. I just think BG probably has the most loyal fan base. They set the standard, the benchmark for everyone else to try to catch up to. This might be my favorite bag of theirs. I didn't like it a lot at first because it was super slow. Then it came into its own. It plays great. 
just for about 125 130 40 dollars on the secondary market still right now probably a little bit more than i would want to pay great bag performance wise strong just because i've seen it before and can get it at a little bit better price point it's the only reason it didn't make my top 10 but a worthy bag the bazooka man chauncey i i love you man i love what you guys do at swag if you want viper r's you got to get the chaos because it's the same bag at like half the price this is a sorcerer fast side but the viper r slow i did like this bag just again, I'm getting to where I'm less and less fond of this Sorcerer fast side material. It wears away so fast, it starts to stretch on the seams, although with swag it doesn't. Uh, this bazooka hasn't quite stretched very much, but because any bag that utilizes this material now has to use the liner because the material is so thin that it just, it separates. And I just don't really like the feel of the liner in my hand so much, but uh, this bag does play really good. Uh, swag makes awesome bags, super cool graphics and designs, and an amazing price point. So definitely had to give them a shout as well. So just quick recap, top three for 2024. Number one, the Tempest. Number two, the Streak 2024. And number three, the Buffalo Shadow. Thank you guys for your patience. Again, feel free to reach out to me anytime if you got any questions. I'll keep bringing you individual bag reviews and breakdowns. And if you want uh, to know anything and I can help you out in any way, please just ask. Thanks again for uh, being patient with me as this took a while. Uh, love you guys. Thank you for everything. Good throwing this year. See you guys.